One of the coolest experiences we can have in VR is with hand tracking and XR hands. So let's learn how to implement them. Opening up the project, you can see here all I have are the Grab Interactables from my previous Grab Interactable video. And yeah, that's about it. So let's make our XR hands work. In order to make them work, we're going to come up to Window Package Manager and then look up XR hands. So that's going to be in the Unity registry. There it is. And we just click Install. With the XR hands packaged installed, we also want to import this hand visualizer. So this is just going to give us some basic components that we can use. Now that those are imported, we have to go into project settings and we have to change a few things. See, in OpenXR, we now have these new things that we can add. Hand tracking subsystem and the meta hand tracking aim. So we're just going to set those to true. And since we're doing that for the PC side, I'm going to click the Android side over here and just make sure we're doing the same there as well. And now we're ready to use these XR hands. So let's get them set up. Now, the first thing that we'll need to add to our XR origin is the hand visualizer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an empty object. I'm just going to call this XR hands. And we're going to put everything related to the XR hands under this child. So I'm going to create another empty object and call this the hand visualizer. I'm going to go to add component hand visualizer. All right. And we have a bunch of things to fill in here. The first thing is going to be a reference to our XR origin. So we'll just drag that in there. Then we need a left hand and right hand mesh. And it's not going to be the Oculus ones. These are actually going to be different meshes that we're going to use because they have their own unique bone structure to them. But to find that, you just go to XR hands 1.1.0 hand visualizer models. And then that's the left hand and that's the right hand. And right here, we have a hand mesh material. So you can use whatever you like. I am, let's Let's see, what should I pick? Oh, here's my one that I use for hands, but whatever material you want to use, you can use there. And then this is an option to draw the mesh. So when we are using hand tracking, we can decide whether or not to actually show it or not. And so, yeah, I do want to show it. And then it's going to say debug draw prefab. You can find these prefabs over here. So this one specifically is asking for the joints and this one's asking for the velocity. And what this does is you can actually see what the joints look like when you're in play mode. So I'm going to set that to true. And then this will show what the velocity looks like of those joints. So it's tracking that velocity. And I'm going to set it to none because, well, you can test it out and see what linear and angular looks like, but it's a lot of visual noise if you leave that in there. One thing I'll mention is just make sure you have hand tracking on. Obviously, if you don't have it on, you won't be able to use the XR hands. And let's boot up the scene and see what we have. And you'll see that the hands are tracking and they're following me, but things are not perfect. The controller hands are still following us and we need to fix that. So let's get back to the editor. Now, in order to properly swap between our XR hands and our controllers, we need to use something called the XR Input Modality Manager. So if we click XR Origin, we just go to XR Input Modality Manager, add that. And this one's going to be pretty easy, but we do need to add a few more things. Starting off, we're going to add some empty game objects here to represent our left and right hands. So I'm going to create this and just call this XR Left Hand. Duplicate it, and this is going to be our right hand. Now, in a moment, we're going to add a direct interactor so we can interact with these objects. But for now, I'm just going to leave these as is. And so we're going to come over here. I'm going to drag the left hand for the hand tracking there and the right hand here. And then for the motion controls, I'm going to grab our controllers and drag them there. And let's boot up the scene and see how this is working. So you'll see that now when I'm using my tracking hands, they track, but if I put them or pick up the controllers, then I get my other hands. But the problem is for some reason, there's a bug that locks it out. You'll see that the left hand is still kind of curved, but if I put them down and wait a little bit, you'll see the tracking hands turn back on. So that's nice, cool. So now the next question is, how do we fix that bug we were getting where the hand was still kind of curved when we picked up the controllers? And the answer I have for that is, well, I don't know. See, I have this little bug that keeps popping up every now when I switch between the controllers and I have tried everything and the controllers still just kind of bug out. So right now I might just chop this up to the fact that the XR hands is still a very new feature and probably has a lot of things that still need to be worked out. So a word of caution when you are involving XR hands, it is new and it does seem to have a lot of bugs in it. 
If anyone can point out what mistakes I might be making in the comments, please let me know because I would love to fix it. But my current solution right now is if you want to use controllers and the XR hands and be able to switch between them in your games, you might want to opt for something like this. So for the left hand controller, I could just set this to the default by clicking this. And you'll notice that it replaces some things, but really importantly, it adds this XR left controller, which is kind of more of a neutral device. No real posing to it. It's just a little controller representation. And so since we're not animating anything, it's not going to really interfere with how it looks in the game. And so you could do that the same for the right controller. And the other option you might want to consider doing is either making your game all controller based or all hand tracking based and just avoid swapping for now until this is fixed or someone lets me know how to fix it. For the rest of the tutorial, I'm just going to stick with the controller models so we don't have that weird looking claw hand. And yeah, let's learn how to grab with our XR hand. So in order to do that, all we have to do is kind of do what we did for these guys. So you'll see here, this has a direct interactor. So let's make a direct interactor. So I created an empty game object. And with it being there, I'm going to make an XR Direct Interactor. And so that's all set up, and it's going to be a little mad at us. We do need a Sphere Collider, like before. And with the Sphere Collider, let's see, let's, point, let's set this to 0 0.05. That's a pretty good radius. Because what we're going to have to it do is it's going to be at the very tip when we pinch with our hand tracking. Now, the other thing it's asking for is a XR controller component, so it knows what to associate with our inputs. And so speaking of our inputs, let's see what those look like for the XR controller. So starting off, you'll notice that with the left-hand controller, we just have the XR controller action based here, and then that can be applied to all these. Now, the difference with the XR hands is if we do that, all these will need actually specific things related to the type of interactor it is and how you want it to interact. Since our hands are tracking, it's a little more dynamic. So what I'm going to do is add an XR controller here, action-based. And since this is our left hand, I'm gonna do it left hand default. Now, as the default, it does put this controller here, so we don't need this. And then the last thing I'm going to change is up here. So let me open this up. If you'll remember, this is our default input actions. And so for the hand tracking inputs, you'll see they're very similar. So if we have interactions, the select is going to be the same for our index pressed. And that is provided by the meta aim hand. And so the same with select value, you'll see that we all have these new things that we can take from. Now, not diving too deep into the weeds on this, I'm going to come back to our XR direct interactor here on our left hand. We're going to come back here. And one thing I'm going to change is this position. So right now, the position is just set to our left hand. What I actually want to switch it to is the pinch. And so what this will do is once we start up the scene, whenever this is starting to track, it will move this XR Direct Interactor to the very tip of our fingers, which makes it look very natural when we go to pick up things. And speaking of making things look natural when you pick them up, another thing you might want to add when you're using hand tracking to grab things is coming over here, we're gonna select all of these guys, and then we're gonna come back down here to the XR Grab Interactable. We're going to switch it to Use Dynamic Attach. And so this will allow us to grab it right where we pinch it and do that dynamically. And it just feels a little better with hand tracking. So with these set to Dynamic Attach, we can boot up the scene and see what we have. And I just realized this is a mistake by me. If you go to the direct interactor, you're going to want to make sure that your collider of a course is set to is trigger. I just booted up the scene and well, it wasn't working because I didn't have that set. So now I'm going to boot up the scene. So let's see what we have. So booting into it, you see when I go to pinch it, I can grab right where I pinch and that is the dynamic attach and it's able to grab all types of objects like kinematic, instantaneous, and velocity tracking. So there that is. And if I wanted to, I can also switch back to the controllers, put these down, there we go, pick them up and I can still grab using these. So there you go, that's how it works. My best advice for you right now at this time is experiment, try this out and see what you think. For myself, I found it to be a little buggy in some areas, but it is promising and it is very cool to have hand tracking finally uh, using the XR Interaction Toolkit. So play around, see what you think about it. A big shout out to my Patreon subscribers. You help me keep my lights on. So thank you as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.